I want to thank everyone today for joining us. We have the pleasure of speaking with Anne Ling Kuo, Marketing Manager for Personal Care and Cosmetics of Shinetsu Silicone. So thank you for joining us today, Anne Lee. Hey, thank you, Michelle, for inviting Shinetsu and me to participate in this event. And before we start, I should really introduce our company, Shinetsu Silicones. We are a subsidiary of Shinetsu Chemical, which is a diversified chemical and specialty materials producer in Japan. Mm. Shinazo Silicones is, is a science and technology driven company focusing on developing materials that are unique and original. Mm -hmm. We have a very long history of operation. Shinazo Chemical was founded in 1926 and Shinazo Silicones started the operation in 1953. Okay, yeah. Thanks for telling us a little bit about the background. And it seems like Shinetsu is constantly coming up with brand new innovations for being uh, for being here for that long. So we're actually going to dive right in then to our questions. So can you share a few of your innovative products for us? As you know, we have thousands of products. So I have to select a few very innovative ones uh, for the audience. And the three, I think, perhaps are the most important and breakthrough technologies are the following. The star is the emulsifying elastomer technology, which forever changed the water and oil formulation landscape. The process is easy, it's forgiving, it's robust. And most importantly, it does not require high energy homogenization. And the second one is the siliconized Accolade film forming technology. The technology has a silky, superb, silky smooth skin feel. Plus, it's great in anti transfer. It has a great oil and water resistance. That's why you will find this material being utilized in a lot of the color cosmetics as well as the sunscreens. And the third one is the elastomer technology. The elastomer gel was actually invented and introduced to the personal care industry by Shinetsu in the 1980s. Oh, oh okay. So it seems like there's like a nice long history. I mean, like you said, with your background, but um, so can you, so we have a big, SEC is having a big event coming in December. Can you tell mm -hmm. me a little bit what Shinetsu is introducing? What specific products too? Can you go into that, please? Certainly, um, as I share with you the three important innovation from Shinetsu, mm -hmm. and what we're doing now is we're introducing the second generation, if you will, with a very high naturality index. And NOI is an index that's very popular in Europe. People refer to that quite often. It's not so much in the USA. However, it's an index you can use to indicate the amount of material that's derived from natural origin. Mm. So what we want to do is to marry the goodness of nature with the power of silicon science mm. to give the tools to the formulation chemists to make products that consumers crave. Yeah. And, you, you know, with like the trends of natural these days, natural products, natural ingredients, it just seems like it would really fit right in for the industry too. So, um, uh, so as you're introducing the silicone natural hybrids, can you elaborate a little bit more on why these hybrids? Like, I, I know, like I discussed, like there's a, becoming a big trend of naturals, but can you talk a little bit more about that? You know, the natural trend is pretty much the top trend for the past 10, probably even more than 10 years, and still is one of the top beauty claims in new product launches. Mm -hmm. However, according to Euromonitor, uh, natural alone uh, in 2020 might not be enough. Mm -hmm. And 40% of the consumers surveyed by Euromonitor preferred efficacy over natural or organic. And in skincare specifically, 25% of the consumer would rank natural being more important than efficacy. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. So therefore, it's very important for material producers like us to develop products to address both natural and efficacy. And silicones has a proven track record for beautiful sensorial properties and has a tried and true safety profile. And I hope consumers will not give up silicones um, anytime soon, uh, even though the natural is such a great trend. And that's what we'll try to do today. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, and especially, you know, you're hearing all this talk about silicone. So it's good that the, it's good to hear that the industry, especially like a company like yours is kind of adapting and, you know, making these more natural ingredients. Um, so with speaking of which, can you talk about how does the, how does the silicone natural hybrid benefit uh, product formulations and, if you're able to, can you share some formulation examples too? Oh, certainly. You know, before I share the formulations, I, I really should share with you a little bit more details about the products we will be using in the formulations. Okay. And as I shared with you before, the three classes of material, we consider the breakthrough technologies. And therefore, in the introduction, we are going to introduce the emulsifying elastomer the non-emulsifying elastomer gel, as well as a fume former. All of them will have a very high NOI or the naturality index. And we choose the natural diluent very carefully. We choose volatile ones, which is woodlacane and tridacane. And the non-volatile ones are squalane, hemisqualane, and cocoa caprylate caprate. Mm -hmm. And the products specifically are the following. The emulsifying elastomers are designed to be broad spectrum emulsifiers, meaning they can be used for water and silicone emulsions as well as water in organic uh, rich products. And the KSG 840 is the first one I will introduce that has an NOI around 0.7 and the polymer itself is modified with the polyglycerin, which is the hydrophile, not the PEG, and also modified with a C12 alkyl functional group that improves or makes it compatible with organic and natural ingredients. And combine the two together, they are fantastic product to emulsify watering oil systems. And the next one is, uh, X226695B, which uh, chemical structure-wise is similar to KIG 840, except the carrier is jojoba oil with an NOI of 0.65. That's the raw material itself. And we're introducing four different non-emulsifying gels. You may wonder why you're introducing so many. That's because consumers have a different demands and formulation chemists have to deliver different performance benefits. So these four products are designed to give you the rheology properties, the texture, or the look and feel, or all of the above. And I, I will go through the details, the UIG 1010, I'm sorry, UIG 1011 uh, is in volatile solvent, undercane and tritocane with an NOI of 0 0.9, and the UIG 1011 is in hemi-squalane with an NOI of 0.89. And the next two are actually LQ modified because the carrier, uh, one is uh, squalane, uh, which is um, UAG 44, I'm sorry, with an NOI of 0.6, and the X22-7055 is in the C5C. I think that's a short for cocoa caprylate caprate. It's a mouthful. <laughs> and <laughs> that one with an OI of 0.65, I believe. And the last one is a film former, which we have speak before. It's a siliconized acrylate polymer in a volatile carrier, undercane and tridocane. The NOI is 0.65. So the three formulations we're introducing, the first one perhaps is most interesting, most exciting in my opinion, is the water releasing formula. And it has a nice and flash, uh, fresh skin feel. And the 
the product gives you a very strong visual cue in water releasing. And the product is uh, uh, made by using the X22 6695B as emulsifier, as I mentioned before. The emulsifiers are truly a breakthrough technology. It can stabilize large droplet size emulsion. As when we were in the lab years ago, and we were told you have to reduce particle size, otherwise your product will break apart. Mm. With this emulsifier, you do not have to worry about that. It can stabilize large particle size emulsion up to 50 microns. And that's part of the reason why we can accomplish the water releasing phenomenon. And the second driver to get the water releasing phenomenon is the high water internal phase. In this case, it's slightly over 80%. And you will also notice all the oils used in this formulation are organic origin or natural origin. And the product, the formulation, I believe, has something like 0.98% NOI. So it's very high naturality index. And the next one is just slight modification or adjustment of the first one. And I didn't mention the first formulation also has a co-emulsifier KF6105 at the very low use level, 0.2%. You actually do not need that ingredient to stabilize the emulsion or to have the water breaking phenomenon. You use it for process robustness to make your process more forgiving. By increase that co-emulsifier from 0.2 to 1.5%, you change the particle size from large to small. By doing so, you would change the property of the product to light and fresh, to smooth and nourishing. And you also change the look of the product as well. The product would change from translucent to something milky white, has a rich appearance. And the final product, again, has NOI very high. I think it's, I have to use my cheat sheet now. <laughs> it's something like maybe 97%. Yeah. Yeah. Either way, you're like, you know, it's a high natural content. High naturality. <laughs> Correct. And again, it's full of organic or natural ingredients, high internal phase, mm -hmm. almost 80%, and has a feeding. It's, really second to none, it's really beautiful, but it's not water releasing. Mm -hmm. And the last one is actually a foundation. And again, we're using exactly the same ingredients, except in this particular case, we also add a film former. And it's, it's, it's quite uh, self-explanatory, use a film former to improve the wear, the long wear. And in addition, we also uh, use the pigments, the KTP pigments that's uh, produced by Shinatsu silicones and use our proprietary dispersant technology. Makes the pigment feel silky, a long lasting and also great color development. Again, formulations full of organic ingredients or natural ingredients, again with uh, I believe 95% OI, uh, still quite high. And the formulation has a silky initial feel, moderate playtime, and dries down to a very powdery after feel. And I would say probably moderate coverage. So that's what I have today. Thank you so much for listening. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for being on here, Anne Lee. It was great to hear about Shinetsu's new products, latest launches, and I'm sure our audience is going to be really excited to listen to these formulas. So thank you for being on today. Thank you. Uh, can I just say one more thing? Yeah, go ahead. Please ask and come to our poster because I was going to give a spiel about our formulation design system. Mm -hmm. Because time constraints, I, I wouldn't have time to do that. And that's a, such a fantastic tool to have the formulation chemist to develop products with an array of textures across all categories. Please come to our poster. We'll yeah. have perhaps here for you. Yeah, go see Shinatsu at SCC in December. And like I said, thank you so much for joining us. I can't emphasize hey. that enough. <laughs> oh, thank you for inviting me. <laughs> <laughs>